Welcome back coach. How are you feeling about your coaching philosophy after that? I hope you have a better understanding of what a philosophy is and why it matters. One key element that should always go hand in hand with your coaching philosophy as a solid foundation is the idea of ethics. Put simply, ethics is the science and practice of moral principles. It's about what's right and wrong, good or bad, and why. Clearly, there must be a space for ethics in coaching and sport, right? Coaching is interpersonal and relational. It's about people doing things with people and to people. Morality has to be top of the agenda. Unfortunately, it's not always the case. Think about some of the most recent ethical scandals in sport. The Russia state-sanctioned doping program, the countless cases of match-fixing in soccer, tennis or cricket, the sexual abuse suffered by US gymnasts or Premier League academy footballers. It's a long list of horrific events that should never be part of sport. You may think that ethical issues are only a problem in elite sport, but there are lots of cases in children and youth sport too. At iCoach Kids, we feel strongly that children's coaches must uphold the highest ethical principles. Every coaching interaction is fundamentally a moral practice and contains a very significant ethical dimension. If you don't believe me, please watch this clip of a model youth coach. I want them to know that this is their family outside of their own family because a lot of times coaches play the role of the mom, especially if we're away from campus and their parents aren't there, or they play the, the role of a counselor even though a lot of times we're not certified, <laughs> or, or we play the role of the, the best friend that holds them accountable. She cares about more than just basketball. She cares about us as student athletes, as women. She genuinely cares and is like continually active in our lives. Like even after the season ends and before the season, she's always like checking up on us. And like even today, she brought us breakfast. Everyone loves Coach Flowers. She's like our second mom, basically. That's what we all call her. No matter like what my skill level was or like how I was doing, she would always push me to be better. She often would set goals for us, even if we think they were too hard to achieve. She would never drop her expectations. She's not your typical coach, I think, in the sense that she invests a lot more in us, also caring about the student that's behind the athlete, also caring about the person that's behind the student. You let the kids know that you care about them as a person, they'll run through brick walls for you, and, and they'll buy into what you're trying to do. So she's always building up your character, building up who you are as a person, and you see that on the court. Coach Flowers really has been somebody that I trust my kid with emotionally and spiritually and you know I just she's been she's been a godsend for us and it just it means the world. I think the way she manages the time, the time on the court and the teaching strategies and the character integrity, everything in general, it's not just basketball. And I think that has made a major impact on my daughter. I think when you have that combination of, of dedication, someone who's going to hold you accountable but at the same time uh, do it in a way that's caring, it just it, it boldens you to, to, to achieve things that you didn't think you were capable of achieving. I tell them all the time that my ultimate goal is to be that person that the kids are seeking out when they come back to visit campus. To get the invites to the weddings and the baby showers and you know, Coach Flowers, guess what, I got the job. She just sees what we don't see in ourselves. And I think that really brings up the best, not only in her players, but in her colleagues as well. She's someone I really look up to and hope I can be like her one day, to be able to just impact so many lives. She's really worked hard to make our team a family, and I think that's why we've been so successful. So I really value that she genuinely cares for each one of us. Wow. I'm so jealous. There is no question about it. Ethics and morality should inform the goals you pursue and how you go about it. We have already hinted at some of these in the iCoach Kids Pledge. Some of the 10 golden rules on the pledge have a clear and robust ethical foundation. 
For example, be child-centered, be holistic, be inclusive, make it fun and safe, engage parents positively, and use competition in a developmental way. So, what can you do as a coach to ensure your coaching is ethical? A great starting point is to develop a moral code of conduct. Many clubs and federations will have developed their own, and these make a good start for any coach. But you can go through your clubs or federations codes and see if you agree with it or not. Have you ever done this? Go find these codes now. An alternative way is to start from scratch and create your own code rather than adopt a ready-made one. Start by asking yourself some key questions. For instance, what are the core values that inform my coaching? How do I think children should be treated in sport? What moral behaviors do I think are a must-do in children's sport? What moral behaviors do I think are no-go areas in children's sport? How do I want to be perceived by children and their parents, by other coaches and teams, and by referees and officials? What ethical behaviors would I like to see on my own child's coach? Once you have sketched out your code of conduct, you should test it out. Share it with your players and parents and with other coaches and your club directors. See what they think and if they agree. Also, why not lead your participants and their parents through a similar exercise to develop a participant and parent code of conduct? In an ideal world, participant, parent, coach and club code of conduct should be aligned and people should be involved in the development of these codes, rather than have them imposed on them. In leading this process of developing moral codes of conduct for all and in living up to your code of conduct, you will become a great role model for players and parents. And that's a huge contribution you make straight away, a super quick win. The main thing to remember is that ethical coaching is not an approach to coaching, but a moral obligation. When coaching kids, we don't choose to behave morally. We have to. It's a must. Well, that's the end of this video. Please complete the ethics and coaching activity in the study guide before moving to the next video. This is probably one of the most important moments in the whole course as it provides the foundation to everything you do in your coaching. Please give it your full attention. Thanks for being an ethical coach and see you soon.